Okay, friends, we're gonna start with our stretch. So we're gonna stretch up high. I'm as tall as a tree. I'm as wide as a house. I'm as thin as a pin. And I'm as quiet as a mouse. Can we do it one more time? Are you ready? Here we go. I'm as tall as a tree. I'm as wide as a house. I'm as thin as a pin. And I'm as quiet as a mouse. Good job. Hi friends, how are you today? I'm here to tell you a story about why pigs are not much admired anymore. Once upon a time, pigs were very much admired. They were clean, they threw wonderful dinner parties. Well, this one pig in particular would throw wonderful dinner parties and everyone loved him. But one year, it was a new year, Mm, he thought, I didn't get what I wanted for the holidays, you know, and I think what I'll do is just go around to my friends and borrow some things that I've admired that they have. So he went to the goat. What does the goat say? <laughs> Can I hear you do it? Good job. And the goat was known far and wide as a wonderful cook, had a very special book that the goat put all of their recipes in. Every time they learned a new recipe, they'd write it down. And so Pig said, hey, you know, your book's looking kind of old and worn and I know how much you love it. Let me borrow that and I will fix it with a new, I'll fix the binding. I'll make sure all the pages are just really sitting in there well, and then I'll bring it back. And Goat said, well, that's just wonderful. Yes, that would be great. And let Pig take the book. Then he went to see his friend, Bear. Now Bear was known at that time far and wide as loving baths, being very clean. He had a gorgeous bathtub, which Pig wanted. He said, oh, that bathtub, mm, mm, mm. I think it needs some, some fixing up. I think that uh, wrought iron needs to be cleaned and polished. And I think it would really bring out the purple. Just let me borrow that. I'll fix it up and bring it right back to you. And Bear said, okay. What did Bear say? Wow. That's right. Can you do it? Yeah, good. Well, next he went to see his friend, Deer. Now, Deer was known for having a very nice table, and he always ate at the table, not in front of the TV, not in bed, nope, standing or sitting at the table. And this was a table that Pig liked very much and wanted one just like it. So Pig said, oh no, look, look, you've got scratches on your beautiful table. Let me take it, I'll refinish it, I'll sand out those scratches and I'll bring it back to you, good as new. And so Deer said, sure, Pig, sure. All right, so let's think about that for a minute. I don't know what deer say. Do deers even say anything? Let's see. No, I, I can't think of a sound. Can you? You can. Let me hear it. Good job. Okay, now, <clears throat> last animal friend that he was going to go and get something from, you know who it was? Raccoon. And raccoon was known for having the best napkins. He was always having fancy napkins at his dinner party. But, you know, Pig wanted those napkins, so he said, hey, 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 those, you know, they look like they need some cleaning, some starching, some folding, some ironing. Let me take those. I will clean them up for you and bring them right back. And so, Raccoon said, sure, no problem. Now, what sound do you think raccoons make? I don't know that I've heard a raccoon either. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now, what happened was he didn't bring any of this stuff back. And his friends got madder and madder and sadder and sadder and more and more upset. And they told Coyote. Now, Coyote was known for being a trickster. So they figured maybe Coyote can do something. And sure enough, Coyote loped over to Pig's house and he brought with him, mm, what's that? Uh-huh, cookies. 
and he said, oh, I made a plate of cookies for you. And Pig was so happy because pigs love cookies. Well, nowadays they'll eat anything, but back in those days, Pig was pretty particular about what he ate. And you know what? Coyote accidentally let that plate of yummy smelling cookies drop out the kitchen window. Oh no, I've dropped the, I've dropped the cookies. Oh no, what do I do? And so Pig went running out to get those cookies, put them back on the plate, you know, and spent a lot of time. Then he started eating them. Well, while he was doing that, Coyote gathered up all of the things that Pig had borrowed, but he couldn't get them out the door. So he used his saw to cut everything down to size so that he could get them out the door. When he delivered them, the animal friends were not happy. The goat said, what am I supposed to do? You, you cut my cookbook in half. And that is why nowadays we think of goats as eating anything. They don't know what to eat anymore. And then Bear was like, I can't take a bath in this. It won't hold water. And now bears are known as being smelly and not taking baths, generally speaking. <sighs> Deer now eats just standing up in the forest. His beautiful table run forever. And raccoon just washes in a stream. Doesn't have those fancy napkins anymore. And that is how Pig got to be less admired. But you know, some of us still think pigs are really, really cute. What about you? Hey, have you been coming by the library and getting one of those take and go bags after you watch Storytime Stars? I hope so. Look at this sheet with all the animals on it that you can get this week. And you can draw a line from the animal to the thing that they had that was much admired in our story. All right, so it's been a new year for a little while now, but I think we should still be celebrating. And so we're going to clap, clap, clap your hands. A brand new year is here. We'll spend it learning, laughing, and clapping and make it a wonderful year. Yay! All right, we're going to do I'm a Little Piggy now. I'm a little piggy, short and stout. Here are my eyes, here is my snout. When I see yummy food in my pail, I oink, 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 and wiggle my tail. I have a little piggy rhyme for us today that I thought would be fun. We can use our fingers if we want, or in this case, I'm just going to use these fun pictures that I found. This little piggy went to Paris. Oh, yeah. I want to go to Paris. Do you? This little piggy went to Rome. Wow. I didn't know piggies went to Rome. This little piggy took their family on two vacations. This little piggy learn to fly. I didn't see that coming, did you? And this little piggy said, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> what fun. You know, in a new year, there's a lot of things that we want to try. And I have some cool down strategies because I don't know about you, but that last year had me like needing to cool down and hopefully that won't happen in this year. But if it does, we could try some of these things. I found this online. You can build like a little bird's nest with blankets and stuff, comfy stuff. And you could uh, try balloon breathing. You wanna do that with me? Here we go. Good job. And you could try boomerang bird before you do something stop and think about what you're about to do and whether those actions will be good and help or not 
And finally, find a mighty eagle, an adult that can help you. So now we're going to do a bounce. If you have a baby, you can gently pull a baby into your lap. Or if you have an older child that wants to act younger, that's very normal in these chaotic and you know unpredictable times. So that's okay too. And our bounce this week, well, every week I think, is going to be Boing Boing Squeak. Some of you may know it if you ever came to Book Babies. Here we go. You ready? Boing boing squeak, boing boing squeak, boing boing squeak. A bouncy mouse is in my house, he's been here for a week. Boing boing squeak, boing boing squeak, boing boing squeak. He bounced in from nowhere, quickly settled in. I'm glad he came alone, I heard he had a twin. Boing boing squeak, boing boing squeak, boing boing squeak. He bounces in the living room, he bounces in the den, he bounces in the kitchen, look, there he goes again. Boing boing squeak, boing boing squeak. A bouncy mouse is in my house, he's been here for a week. Yay! <laughs> Miss Angie, can you do it? Yes, Miss Lisa, can you do it? I can. We can do it and, and you can, can do, do it too. too. Let's all help each other stay, stay healthy. Wash your hands, do to do. Wash your hands, do to do. Wash your hands, do to do. Wash your hands. Keep your distance, do to do. Keep your distance, do to do. Keep your distance, do to do. Keep your distance. Cover your sneeze, a choo choo, a choo. Cover your sneeze, a choo, a choo. Cover your sneeze, a choo, a choo. Cover your sneeze. Cough right here, cough, cough. Cough right here, cough, cough. Cough right here, cough, cough. Cough right here. Wear a mask, do do do. Wear a mask, do do do. Wear a mask, do do do. Wear a mask. We did it, and you can do it too. enjoyed this week's episode of Storytime Stars, come by the library and pick up a takeaway bag while supplies last.